Right. Just keeping it real. Yeah. That's what Reddit wants. <laughs> we love Reddit over here, dude. That's why we're doing this. 110 upvotes. I'm doing a post interview with Baby. Give me your questions and we'll answer them after tonight's game. Alright, so the first question is Ask him how fond he is of the new nickname, Baby Bell. <laughs> we have an emote on our Discord, dude. You have an emote of it already? Yeah, we have an emote of it already. It's pretty slick, check it That's out. That's awesome. I think that started with Sal. I think she was the one who said it on the stream. Yeah, yeah I was, I was, it was like during halftime, I went to the bathroom and I heard it and I was like, what? <laughs> Baby Bell. Yeah. That's funny, dude. Literally midstream, dude. All right, so next next question we got is from Mendo Kusai, 192 upvotes. How much better is my widow than his? Zero percent better. Oh, zero percent better. Okay. I'm on widow land. All right, all right. Confirmed. I like that. Let's see what we got here. 43 upvotes. If Bebe plays widow, does that make him baby maker? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. Cool, baby maker. Yeah, that was good. All right, let's see. Why do you think Widow had such a high pick rate today? What changes made her so dominant? Bro, it's like, Widow on land is insane. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like every shot just hits perfectly. So it's like really strong, dude. Okay. So it's like online, like if I do like a flick shot, it'll like, in my head, like I'll hit him, but like it really didn't hit him because like, I don't know, something about the, like the, was it internet or? The registry. Nah, yeah, that shit is like off online, and then on land it's like just boom, boom, boom. Like, I think she's like shot. the strongest hit scan character. Yeah, she's stronger now, dude. All right. Especially with like uh, Mercy and uh, Zen Pocket. Okay. So Pete. Nice, nice, good question. Has his hero pool always been this vast, or has he been improving during scrims lately? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I've always played a lot of different things, but yeah, I've, I've been trying. Trying hard to sell on scrims to like play Farah, and like I've always been good at Genji. Yeah. And, like I've been like good solo queue Genji, so it's like just a matter of like learning how to play him with a team. It's like totally different play style. Yeah, I think a lot of people thought you had like a small hero pool because we would just always play one soldier. Yeah. yeah, we only ran that though because Literally. like we were limited in in like other ways. Like uh, Dogman wasn't like that fond of Mercy, so we couldn't run Farah yeah. ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like. The meta, the meta, the meta was also yeah. different. Like that shit was strong. Soldier tracer, know? yeah. Yeah. Was there burnout for you or your teammates playing nine maps in a row? Yeah, we got tired, super tired on the last set. Like that was like we really gave it our all on the first set against Mayhem because like personally, like I wanted Nevix and IDQD to get like revenge on Tivi for cutting them. <laughs> yeah. So like I really wanted to win for them to you know make them like have them feel that because like. You know, who wouldn't want to beat somebody that cut them? You know, it's a great feeling. You know, like, so we were trying, yeah, you know, we were trying really hard, and then, like, our calm slowly for the last series were, like, just too mellow. You yeah. Know, like, it was, like, kind of like after you guys won. Right, it was like, oh, hard. shit, we got to play again. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, hard. Like, there was no break, dude. Like, yeah. there was no, we didn't have, like, a break. We had, like, five minutes. We were back on playing another map. I mean, it was long watching. It, it was, was hard, dude. Yeah, yeah it was, it was yeah, actually, I, I was exhausted. Alright, so 49 upvotes on this. Why does Sinatra have a fake Gucci shirt? <laughs> what? Yeah, so, uh, 150k, dude. <laughs> the dude of Van City Lake, dude. The He's guy, calling Sinatra out. Like, I just not fake anything, bro. Alright, you heard it. Unless, unless you got finesse, dude. I don't think <laughs> unless so. you have finesse. He, he's, he's at. He is 17. Dude, the Here Gucci store is his home, bro. He, okay, he goes right. to the mall. <laughs> he does like Gucci Gang. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What is his rankings of the Widowmakers and Al? How do you see the Widowmaker meta evolving? It's like me, Pine, and Linkser. The best Widows in LWO, I think, so far. I can't think of like another. Fleta, Fleta's really good. So, yeah, so probably those four, like, including myself, those are the best Widowmakers. I don't remember playing any other Widowmakers. I know the Chinese Widow had some, like, sick clips. I but, Daya. Yeah. But I don't know how good he actually is because I haven't played him yet. Yeah. So just off the people that I've played, like those four, like well, I, I, I haven't played against myself, but you know I've, I've dominated some other traits, uh, some other widows. Okay. Let's see. Where does Sinatra and Super fit into the team? Well, they're ineligible, so they're not playing. Yeah, okay. all right. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right. <laughs> <And> no <leaks. laughs> we'll leave that out. <laughs> Okay, this guy's all caps, dude. 
Jay Hyden, he says, are we really out here saying you're the number two tracer because Michael is actually the number one tracer, or are we just being humble? Uh, I was just being humble, dude, you know, like, she hit me with that question, like, or she, she hit me with, like, okay, so, before I went to, for the interview, I was like, I'm a god, you know, and she was like, she opened up the interview with that, and I was like, I didn't want to seem like a conceited asshole, so I was like, I was like, you know what, like, like, we humble, you know, I'm number two tracer, part, yeah. we Smart. humble out here, you know, I had a really good performance, but we humble, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> the next guy responded said, he says, real talk, that was actually a pretty touching shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> touching shout out, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who would win in a fight between you and Sherpoir? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Seven upvotes, man. Bro. Or, I don't know if he's talking full on fist what fight or like an dude? Overwatch fight. Widow 1v1? That's a heavy question, dude. Me? Proven. Widow 1v1? Okay. Already okay. happened. Alright. Danny says, what team has the best logo and color scheme other than San Francisco? New York. You don't sleep on New York, dude. That, that looks like a designer brand. Like it a, does, yeah. Like a hype beast brand. Like, I don't know. It's like, like people were joking about it, but like when you look at their jerseys and how that, that looks. Like, it looks good. It looks like more than a logo. Like you could brand that as like a clothing brand or something. Like it's sick. It's cool. Yeah, I agree. I think it's underrated. They got a lot of flack for their shit. Yeah, dude, it's so. underrated, like for sure. Yeah. What's the number one tip slash thing to do when you're aspiring to be a pro? Oh, just grind. <laughs> That's what I tell them. That's dude. literally it. <laughs> play, play, play. You yeah. have to play like as many hours a day. And, and watch watch people like him as well. True, yeah. Watch, watch and play. Of, like, yep. Players that you think are really good. Alright, here. Here, we got a funny one. Baby Day's eyes were looking pretty red. <laughs> Come on, guys. Bro, I, I wear contacts and they put makeup like under your eyes and like that shit got in my eyes. Oh so, really? That's weird actually. It was like, yeah. And I'm sitting there staring at a screen all day too, so it's like it doesn't help. And I don't take my contacts out, it's really bad. Yeah. How did it feel to be on the stage? It, was, it felt like home, dude. Felt like home? Yeah, I love, I love that. That's nice. What did it feel like after you just finished in Florida Mayhem? Kappa. <laughs> Six oh no, I felt great, dude. <laughs> great. Okay. I went over there, shook their hands, and they praised me. It was, it was awesome. Why did he say he was the number two when that slot clearly belongs to our Lord and Savior, Michael? I mean, because we humble. That's true. Okay, we humble. Okay. <laughs> Harsha says hell yeah out of the interview. Okay. Shout out to Harsha, man. What? What's up, bro? What's up, dude? What's up, bro? Come say hi to the camera, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 I'm playing with the camera, doesn't he? What's up, Steve? Yeah, San Francisco shot Sleepy here, boys. Hell yeah, dude. The next question is, could you believe how well Sleepy played? What is your opinion on him? Ooh. That's, that's... Sleepy is the worst Zenyatta I've ever played. <laughs> I see how you get down. <laughs> Sleepy's insane. Yeah, Sleepy's insane. Sleepy is a fucking land god as well. That was nuts. Sleepy is actually insane online. Like in a tournament, like a nutty dude. Okay, this one guy wants to know, do you have any future career plans after I replace you? What? Yeah. Oh, after you replace yeah, me? After I replace you, yeah. What? I mean, there's been rumors going around that I can take anybody's spot <laughs> in Overwatch League, but... Come on, guys, I want to take Bro, you would spot, do that, dude. dude. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to worry I didn't join San Francisco Shop because I didn't want to take Sinatra's spot. Why would I take his, man? Come on. <laughs> Please, guys. Okay. This guy's taking shots at me. He said, how much easier is it competing with DPS players that are now competent? What? <laughs> Bro, Michael was a god, dude. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Michael's, was, Michael's the number two tracer in the game. What do you mean, dude? Yeah. You're humble. crazy. We humble. <laughs> You want to ask that? Can't yeah, like three little fuck. Oh shit, relax, alright. Can you sign for Lex's forehead next time you guys meet? Can I what? Can you sign his forehead? Relax. Oh, time. yeah, relax, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, dude. Relax, man. For Shout out to relax, man. Yeah. Let's see. No question here, just want to say your content is great. Keep it up. Thank you, Fizz. Appreciate that, man. Who is the better tracer in a team environment? Dante, Ivy, Kitty, or Michael? <laughs> well, we can't, we, can't, we can't say who the best is, dude, because 
You know, I mean, are they number one? Because I'm number two. So. Michael, <laughs> but clearly, Michael can't be the best because he's humble. Yeah, because exactly. he's the not, he's the number two tracer. So, so yeah, you know, I don't know. I I think IDQD and Dante played two different styles of tracer, and I think that each has its ups and like the like the negatives about it, but. Like the way we fit them in on the certain maps we play, they really worked out well, I think. So they both play good. Yeah, they were both able to pop off. All right, we're on like the last three questions. Does he think Mercy is fine in the current state? Yeah, Mercy's freaking OP, dude. <laughs> Mercy's freaking OP. She needs to get nerfed or something. Like it's like it's actually ridiculous. Like, it just wins you if you get Valk, it doesn't matter. You know, like the what they did to Res doesn't matter. Like you just need to get your ult and then you win. That's how you guaranteed team fight win. Like. Okay. Well, that's it. Sick. That's it, boys. Thanks for all the questions. And that's the man right here, baby man. <laughs> the one and only. Representing. Good guard, baby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>